welcome back. It's time for a huge fall Dollar Tree haul. I hope all of you have been having a great summer. We are now in the time where school's about to start back. My daughter is so excited. And speaking of my daughter, before we get into the haul, I wanted to say real quick, thank you so much to everyone that left such sweet comments about my daughter. And my last video was Dollar Tree Shop with me and my daughter did it with me. She loves doing Dollar Tree shopping trips with me. There were so many sweet comments about Lennon. I was reading them to her and she just had the biggest smile on her face. So thank you so much to everyone that left such sweet comments about my daughter. All right, let's just get into this haul. I have three things that aren't fall, so I'm just gonna share them real quick. These aren't new, but I love these bottles and now my husband has become obsessed with it. I love this little um, top right here. My husband is now using this as a water bottle at work and um, it's just a great little bottle. I love it. And if you love drinking out of glass, but I also think this is a great little decor piece. You could obviously paint it, put some flowers in it. Lots of little things you could do with this bottle. So grabbed another one because I needed it. Also something else that my stomach just growled so bad. I don't know if you could hear it on camera. This little jar is not new either, but I am using this in my like smoothie bar area to put my protein powder. But I've seen some people recently making this into like a little pumpkin container. They painted this and like added a stem to the top. So that could be something cute little DIY that you could do, but also this is just great for like food storage or protein powder storage. My Dollar Tree also had this pink Himalayan salt. This one says all the good stuff on it, non-GMO verified, uh, vegan, kosher, all the things. It looks like a good pink salt. So I went ahead and picked this up. We love pink salt and I prefer the fine one. So when I saw this, I was like, yes. <gasps> oh no. I'll get it. I'll get it in a minute. <laughs> okay, the only other thing that I picked up that is not fall or seasonal decor is this little notebook. I have seen this so many times and every time I see it, I'm like, you're cute. And then I put it back. And this time, I didn't put it back. I put it in my cart. I'm going to use this to write little notes to my daughter for in her lunches. It's very fally, kind of farmhousey, almost going into the winter. I, I, I don't know, it's just cute. Okay, are we ready for fall? Okay, so I ended up picking up this little scarecrow guy. I, I have a weird thing with scarecrows because I like them, but I also don't love them. But I did think this might be cute on my patio somewhere or maybe on my front porch. I don't know. I like that it has like the buffalo check. Or is this gingham? Like, what's the difference between buffalo check and gingham? I was gonna Google that the other day and then I totally forgot until I saw this. I I, I don't know the difference. I, I think this is buffalo check or plaid. I, I don't know, you know, this material or this, this style. I thought it was cute. And then my daughter thought that this one was cute. So I think that we are going to use these on our porch back or front porch somewhere this year. They also had those little scarecrows in like a miniature version that had a little stand that was like this big. I shared that, showed that in my shop with me. And then I also found like a little one that's like this big and it had like rocks or something at the bottom that made it heavy, which was real cute too. So lots of little scarecrow options at Dollar Tree right now. I also picked up this little sign, steak, what a decor piece that just says the hello fall on the front. I don't know what drew me to this, but I don't know. I think it's cute. It has a little steak. I was also thinking about using this somewhere on my little, I, I really don't have a front porch. It's like such a small little space, but I always try and like put a little something out there, but then I have a decent sized back porch. So I was going to possibly use that, this, this in one of those uh, front or back areas. Okay. This next thing is not fall, but it's, I mean, it's fall, it's in the fall season. It's more Halloween, but it's the stencil wheel and it has on the back of it all these different little stencils that you can do. Wait, can you see it like this maybe better? It has like a little cat, it has a haunted house and a witch and some bats. I wish they had one that had more like pumpkins on it and stuff like that. If any of you guys have seen one of these that has more fall related stuff, let me know in the comments below because I would definitely like to pick that up. And if you have kids, this can be a fun little fall craft. You Like it shows on this 
someone doing it to a little canvas bag and Dollar Tree always has those little bags that you can color on. I showed all that in the shop with me as well. They had so many of the little bags that you can color and like little craft. I was blown away actually with all the craft stuff that they have right now. Uh, fall and Halloween and um, so if you like to craft and you like to do it with your kids so much stuff right now speaking of crafting I picked up this little pumpkin it has this like thing that you can put stuff in and it has a little stand and it looks like that on the back I think this is so freaking cute paint it and I I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet but I was thinking about adding it possibly onto like a tablescape and I got four of them to do maybe like a place setting and you could even like maybe put some like utensils I, I don't know I was thinking about utensils like wrapped in something cute or someone's name I don't know but I do obviously I don't know I think that there are a lot of things you could probably do with these and they had them in a turkey I think it was an acorn um, I feel like there was one more, but such cute finds. I'm just really impressed that Dollar Tree has these. Back this year, they have these little white pumpkins that are on these clips. The clips are just like little clips like this. I think these pumpkins are so fantastic to add into little wreaths, DIYs, so many things that you can do with these little pumpkins. So um, I got two packs of them. One of my ideas was to stick these little pumpkins on the little wreaths behind me because I think I'm going to keep this room somewhat how it is and just add in some um, like white fall stuff in here. And I thought these little white pumpkins on that wreath would be super cute. So I'm going to do that. And then I had some other ideas. So I'm going to go back and try and get some more of these. Hopefully they still have some. I got some last year and I should still have those too. We're hoping to get my fall stuff down in the next week or two. So we're going to try and paint our garage floor before that happens. Let me know in the comments below if you have already gotten your fall stuff down or out of a closet or down from the attic or wherever you keep your fall stuff. Have you already pulled it out yet or is it still in there? And When are you going to pull it out? Let me know. I'm always curious to know. This I have never seen before at Dollar Tree. I mean, I've seen diamond wrap at Dollar Tree, but never this diamond wrap with like fall and Halloween stuff on it. This one has acorns on it and I think this is so cute. I cannot believe that Dollar Tree has this. And then I got this one that has the pumpkins. I just realized that the pumpkins have different kinds of faces. So this is definitely more Halloween-y. They also had one that had leaves on it. Uh, kind of wishing I did grab the leaf one, but I'm not even exactly sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I do have a couple ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and use the acorn one with the idea that I have, see how that works. And then Maybe if they still have the leaf one, I might get that. But I also got this one for Halloween that has little skull and crossbones. Also, if you do planner stuff, this could be really cute in your planner too. I also picked up another one of this little wreath form. Oh, I almost bumped myself in the head. Wreath forms. I got this to make a wreath with these really pretty ribbon that I found. This one has leaves on it in that orange color. And then these have... The, this what this I got multiple so that's what I'm saying these this one has um, just leaves and like branches and all the gold I thought these would be pretty together I did a Halloween um, wreath DIY last year with ribbon like this I will leave my fall and Halloween um, DIY playlist down below in case you're interested in them uh, but I wanted to try and like recreate what I did with the Halloween one with this fall one so that's what I'm gonna do um yeah so I got multiples of those also I saw that they have these galvanized words back that they had last year and they were super popular for DIYs and stuff it just says thankful harvest and welcome so I picked up another pack of these I also found this really cute napkin I love the little design on it however they are tiny napkins they only had like this size, which I would say is like the cocktail size, and then they had the more rectangular napkins. And my little napkin holder fits like the actual napkin size, so I wish that they would come out with this pattern in the regular napkin size, but I still thought it was too cute to pass it up. If you saw my shop with me, you saw at the end of my second Dollar Tree, I found the velvet pumpkins. Not very many of them, but I did 
find one white one. They had quite a few orange ones, but this orange is definitely a bit brighter of an orange than I like to, I like some bright orange in my decor, but not like overpowering orange, you know what I'm saying? So I only got one of the orange. I did get this really pretty um, brown color one too. I thought this was such a pretty color. And then they also had this green color. I think this green color is super pretty. During Christmas time, I was incorporating last year green throw pillows and I had curtains that were about this color green. And um, so that's what I do at Christmas time, but now I'm like, do I wanna add this green color into my decor? I don't know. Uh, but regardless, I thought, oh, I can't hold all these at one time. Also, these are way bigger than I thought they were gonna be. I thought these were going to be much smaller. I was, I mean, you can see, like I can barely hold, <laughs> hold three of them in my hand at one time. So I was pleasantly surprised with that. So I got the one green, one orange, one white, and then I have two of this brown color. If I can find more of the white, that's what I would like more of. But I'm just happy that I found any, to be honest. So definitely excited that I found the velvet pumpkins. Let's end it with some fall signs, shall we? I found pretty much all of the new fall signs, I think. Actually, there might have been one that I haven't seen yet at mine, but... I think I found them all. I didn't buy them all. This one, I'm not sure why I got. I don't really decorate for Thanksgiving, um, but I just, I thought this was cute and I thought this galvanized thing was cute. I actually think if I do end up using this, I might, it has the um, ribbon back here that, you know, kind of gives it the spacing, but I almost think it would be cuter if you took the ribbon off and just glued it and combined the pieces together. But I feel like if you are hosting a um, Thanksgiving dinner at your house to incorporate a little actual stuff that says Thanksgiving and some turkeys is real cute so I just grabbed that one. I also grabbed this sign which I'm super excited that I ended up finding. They also have this one I think it has sunflowers on it maybe no apples and I just you know I had to get the pumpkin one but the apple one is cute as well. I just think this is so cute. Oh my god, I had to grab this. I also found the little red truck sign. They also had this as a blue truck. So cute. I don't know who doesn't love a red truck. I mean, I'm sure some of you don't like the red truck thing, but I just adore the red truck. So many people adore the red truck. And when Dollar Tree had the red truck sign, I was like, I've got to get it. I'm probably going to take off this raffia or whatever that's called and do something a little bit different there and do a little DIY. Not just like upgrade it a little bit, but it's still so cute on its own. The one thing I wish Dollar Tree didn't do with their wall art or their wall like signs like this is put the holes right here and then hang the string that, like that. I wish the string was just attached to the back so that if you decide to take it off the string, you didn't have those holes in there, but that's my only complaint with these signs. They're so cute. The last sign that I picked up was this one that says Harvest Blessings. It has the um, like wood look behind it. It's so cute. They also had this one with sunflowers. I forget what the sunflower one said, but you know, I had to go with the pumpkins. It was just so cute. That is everything that I have today. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video. And if you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. I'm going to have so much fall stuff coming up on this channel and holiday stuff and other things. I am redoing my bedroom right now. We are ordering the floor and all of that. So I'll be sharing that with you guys as well. So stay tuned and that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, don't forget to let me know when you're getting your fall stuff out. All right, bye.